brought to you by the website www.allabouthomeelectronics.com. For more information on this topic or other topics pertaining to home electronics, visit the website by clicking the link located directly below this video. This is an overview review of the Samsung HWD45 Crystal Surround Air Track. It's a sound bar and a wireless powered subwoofer by Samsung. It is a 2.1 system. The sound bar itself is 37 inches in length. Now this is a depiction of the front control panel on the sound bar itself. Again, the sound bar is a uh, two a left channel and a right channel setup and it has five controls on the face. One control, which is number one, displays the current mode that you're in. Number two displays the input, so you can select one of four inputs. One input is an RCA audio, then there are two optical inputs, and you can get an optional iPad dock. Three, number three, is going to be your sound mode. So depending on whether you're listening to music, news, something dramatic, a sports game, or something to that effect, using number three on the face of the sound bar, you can control the type of sound field that's being produced. Number four are your up and down volume controls, and number five is your power button to turn the sound bar on and off. Now this is a depiction of the back side of the sound bar and you'll notice this insert right here, they've highlighted it. So we're going to start with number one. Number one is a USB port and this is designed so that if Samsung comes out with a firmware update you can update the sound bar. In my opinion uh, you might only do that one time in your life when you own this. Number two, which is simply the power plug, that's where you powered into an electrical receptacle. Number three, which is in this insert, this is where you take your audio jacks in and there are two digital audio optical inputs in this insert as well. So you can connect a total of three hardwired audio sources into the back of the sound bar. This is a picture of the remote that comes with the soundbar kit. You have your power button, your volume up and down, your mute. If you want to try to emulate a surround sound, you can toggle that on and off with this 3D sound button. Um, there are things that you can uh, dim the lights on the face of the soundbar. You can turn them down or turn them up. If you have a Samsung television connected to the soundbar, which you don't have to use a Samsung TV. You can use any brand with this, but if you happen to have a Samsung TV, you can turn the TV on with this power button as well. You can change your channels right here, and then your sound modes where we talked about if you're listening to music or news or drama or something that you would have you would change that right there. And I told you you could have up to three, maybe four inputs. One of those inputs would be an optional. Uh, wireless iPod dock or you can have your TV connected, your cable set-top box, you can have a PlayStation, uh, you can have up to three devices so you would select which device you want to listen to via this input selector here. And then uh, they have also down here is a button where if your subwoofer, if you want to adjust how loud the subwoofer is, you know, is it giving you enough boom or is it not giving you enough boom? You can adjust that right here through these buttons. This is a depiction of what actually comes in the package. You get a remote, you get one pair of AAA batteries, you get a bracket that you secure to the wall about a few inches below the bottom of your TV and the sound bar hangs on that. You get a user's guide, which is nice because not everybody gives you a user's guide. Now they try to put it on disc or let you get it online. You get one RCA cable. You can connect this to the back of your TV. 
and this stereo jack plugs into the sound bar itself. You get these ferret magnets. Now these are kind of important because these go onto uh, your electrical receptacle wires and it helps reduce electromagnetic noise that comes in from other sources. So if there's any static, this will help uh, eliminate the sound of static coming to the speaker. And this part right here would be something you would use on any type of electronic, not just this particular brand. And then they supply you one digital optical cable, which that's kind of nice because if you were to go out and purchase this, you're looking at about 10 bucks. And really this is ideally the best way you'd want to connect it because this is going to allow the sound to be very clear compared to this type of cable. Here's a listing of the specifications. It plugs into a 120 volt, 120 volt source. Uh, and let's see, the output is 80 watts per channel on the speaker. So, you know, if you turn it up, you're going to get a nice uh, sounding volume to it. And the subwoofer is 120 watts, and it's a powered subwoofer, so it's not a passive subwoofer. You have to keep in mind um, with some surround sounds systems that are in a box, the subwoofer is passive. There's no separate amplifier built into the subwoofer and so the, so the subwoofer doesn't really sound that great but in this case the subwoofer is going to sound pretty good you're going to get a pretty nice thumping bass to it and the subwoofer is really a very important component in in emulating a surround sound system so I like these specifications and then outside of that uh, it has some dimensions here related to the speaker itself to the soundbar itself and to the subwoofer itself So that is uh, the completion of the review. There's a link right below this video that takes you to a website where we highlight some of these same things. You can also click on it there and get the owner's manual. So if you want to look at the specifications or have questions, pull the owner's manual up in PDF and find exactly what you're looking for. But uh, we think this is a real great product at uh, $299. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by the website www.allabouthomeelectronics.com For more information on this topic or other topics pertaining to home electronics, visit the website by clicking the link located directly below this video.